Hey guys, it's me, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Unlimited, and I'm here to tackle the new Yu-Gi-Oh! series, the sixth series, which is based off this new protagonist called Yusaku, and I'm going to be talking how I feel about the new mechanic that we'll probably be introducing. I'm going to be talking how I feel about the protagonist, how I feel about the Yu-Gi-Oh! TV show, because I rarely ever talk about the Yu-Gi-Oh! TV show. Once in a while, I say a little thing saying like, oh, I watch that, or I don't watch that. And I'm actually coming to realize that I look horrible in color. <laughs> because this is one of the very few times I said, you know what, I'm going to not put, because this is not mine. This is Michael's, you know, Yama, my boyfriend. So I'm, I put this on, and I said to myself, I'm like, you know what, maybe I'll look good in it. And I look horrible, because for some odd reason, the only colors that I think make me look good are black and white. Because I'm either white as a ghost or dead inside. So black fits that. <laughs> All right. Now, getting on into Yusaku and how I feel about him overall. Now, going back for me, I have to go back all the way to the original series and talk about how I felt with the TV show up until from original Yu-Gi-Oh! all the way up to Yusaku Season 6. The original Yu-Gi-Oh! was perfect, and I can't say anything negative about it because I have nostalgia glasses for it, because I have nothing bad to say. I have nothing, nothing, nothing. I have nothing bad to say about the original series because I obviously loved it. That's why I'm here today. And then going into GX, GX was very kiddish and for the right type of genre that I was introduced to. I was in high school when GX was out and I could see the progress of Jaden's character from season one to season four where he matured a lot, especially in the third and fourth seasons. And I really admired that about Jaden. I thought Jaden ended the series really well. I just wished it was dubbed for the last and final season. 5D I liked, but I mainly liked for the introduction of Synchros. I didn't really like Yusei's character, but that's for me personally. Everyone else has different opinions of all the protagonists. But for me, I wasn't that crazy about Yusei. I thought he was, his character was a little bland, but I do really like characters like Akiza, Jack. I wasn't that fond of Crow. I don't know why. Crow is such a fan favorite. I just yeah, I was very turned off by his character. I originally always watch at least 15 to 20 episodes before I look at the show and say, can I watch this? Can I? Do you think you could do this and actually enjoy this shit? And Zexel was the first Yu-Gi-Oh! series, which I could still state that I've never seen. I've never seen Zexel. I've seen the first 15 episodes, I didn't like what I saw, and I didn't watch the rest. And as for Arc V, I actually watched Arc V, and I was skeptical at first because, you know, Zexel has such a dirty taste in my mouth, I didn't know what to expect. But for me, going into Arc V, I loved Arc V. I thought Arc V was so well made. I liked Yuya. Yuya had a great personality. I liked Yugo, Yuri, Yuto. I thought that they were all well made characters. I think Fluffles are so iconic now, and I think that Fluffles was an amazing deck to make. And I could say the same thing about seeing iconic cards, like how they introduced like Gem Knights in there. I saw how they introduced Constellas in there, and X Sabers. I thought it was so iconic to see all these old decks and be like viewed like as these like top players of the Leo Institute. And I thought it was just so good. I loved it. I mean, I know that's all within like the first couple episodes, but even the whole combination of being nostalgic towards stuff like 5D and GX I thought was great. Even Zexel, I mean, I wasn't crazy about Zexel, but still, it was decent to see. And going into the sixth season of Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm going to go into it with an open mind. I'm not going to go into a closed-minded, and I'm going to be interested, even though that what they pitched was it's virtual reality, like it's always been, on hoverboards, and I actually don't hate Yusaku's design. Yusaku looks a little older than Yuya, which is good, because I actually think the more mature characters, you know, should look, you know, good. I feel like they, I, I don't want to see a very kiddish Yu-Gi-Oh player. The funny thing is, is when I first saw Yusaku, I actually thought his hair looked like cotton candy. And I, he still reminds me of cotton candy hair. And, and I haven't seen anyone else make that joke, but he reminds me like he has cotton candy in his hair. I think he looks decent, and I thought that, you know, he, you know he's, he's cool. The concept of the hoverboards, I mean, it's kind of been introduced in 5D, so I'm like a little, like, missy with that. I'm like, you know, it's been done before. I, I'm really, really hoping that there isn't a new Yu-Gi-Oh! mechanic, but I know deep down there is. And I really hope there isn't. If I would have to ask Konami to introduce a new mechanic, if they made a new version of Synchros and XYZ, I wouldn't hate it. Because, I mean, pendulums, I think, were too much. Pendulums 
were too overpowered. I don't really want a very overpowered mechanic. You know, we have our spell cards and we have our trap cards. Now, it'd be interesting if there was like a new branch. There's, you know, spell, trap, and blank. And I would kind of like that because it would be something where it would just be handy. And I would like to see something just be, you know, another option instead of just like he has a new insane form of monster summon and i kind of feel like that's something we haven't had yet we haven't had like a spin-off to spells and traps i mean i guess if you want to count pendulums being spells but something where it's just like this is a new form of something that goes in your spell and trap card zone i hope that he's not annoying I hope he's a little independent. I like characters that are independent and they don't really need companions and a whole bunch of cheerleaders, which there obviously will be. But I would like to, I like protagonists that are confident. I like protagonists that, you know, just smile a lot and just have a good, you know, aura, era, aurora. I like, you know, good aurora and people, I don't know what I'm saying. I just want to see a good protagonist. I feel like Yu Yu is good, and I actually like Yu Yu more than you say. And I just really kind of hope that they continue in this right direction because I just hope that they don't make it so gay and so stupid. And I felt like they did that with Zexel, and I know I'm gonna like piss people off because people are like, oh, I love Zexel. How dare you say that to me? And I'm like, well, I'm not crazy about it. And if you want to fucking hear my opinions of past seasons with this new season you better shut the fuck up and listen to me so i hope that you guys all enjoyed this video about me talking about yusaku and the sixth season where i do believe they'll make a new mechanic do i think i'm gonna like it probably not i mean but hey, hey i mean i did like xyz and i did like synchros and i mean i wasn't that crazy about pendulums but at least you know, i play dynamis now so i mean i adapted to it and i accept it i mean i think you know what I don't like about pendulums? No. No. If you want to see me make a video about what I don't like about pendulums, you know, watch my rant video for that one. Because I don't want to start spewing out shit. So I hope you guys all have a great day. Better tomorrow. And I, I look really, like, messy. I look like shit. <laughs> because I'm looking at myself, and I'm saying, you're in a Reese's shirt. Really, dude? Reese's shirt? Dude, you're fucking lactose intolerant. You can't eat chocolate even if you wanted to. But, you know, if you're wearing a research shirt, you wearing this is going to fucking fuck you up. <laughs> and then I need to get a fucking haircut. But I'm going to be going home soon, back to my lunatic house in Queens. And my family's going to be like, hey, how you doing? You want to get a haircut? And I'm gonna, what am I doing? Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new before I go off on any more weird tangents. So I hope you guys all have a great day. Better tomorrow.